Welcome to the internet and the rest of the games that we didn't put on the real show on Inside the NFL. And I am not like Chris Collinsworth. I deem these games very important. We need to talk about them and decide who we think is going to win. So we want to welcome in all the gamblers from around the country. No, there you go. Whatever you are, we, we're not just a don't joke. disperse on that. Don't do that. Disparage. Dispersions. You know what it is? <laughs> No, it's not that. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Maybe. Somewhere, I don't know. Pino what are you Pino? asking me? I got hit in the head just like you did. Don't cast it. Dispersions? That could yeah, be there right. we go. I think oh, you're right. See, okay. you were wrong, Mr. Lawyer. I thought Lawyer. you were saying disparaging. Oh, remarks. okay. Oh, Philadelphia opinion. at Green Bay. Nick Foles, seven touchdowns. What do they ask um, Chip Kelly, the third question asked to him after the game? What do you think they said? How was Michael Vick? Will he be in the starting lineup next week? You just threw seven touchdowns. Who do you like in this game? This is hard. I it mean, is. this really is. Seneca Wallace playing for the Green Bay Packers, and you know, but I st right now I think the Packers have enough of a running game with Eddie Lacy and James Starks that they can pull this one off even without Aaron Rodgers. I may be completely wrong, but I'm taking a shot with the Packers. It's hard to pick them. I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers too. Philadelphia going there. I think it's almost not a desperate situation with the Packers, but it's close. Seneca Wallace gets a whole week to practice with the first team. He he will be much better. I think they win. I want to give you a stat about the Cincinnati Bengals at Baltimore Ravens. Oh Ray Rice and Bernard Pierce are tied for the second worst yards per rush average at 2.7 yards per carry right. among all. And uh, Osimile now is going on injured reserve, one of their star offensive linemen. I, you know, I'm going to take the Cincinnati Bengals in this one. I, I think the Bengals with 10 days rest come in there, and they are desperate now. They have a chance, in my mind, to really sort of salt away this division. I'm going to take the Bengals, too. You look at that game there. You know, I always like this. Do you think Ray Rice just, like, suddenly turned into a bad football player? No. The same with quarterbacks. If the offensive line's not getting it done, you're not going to get it done. I'm taking the Bengals. Seattle at Atlanta. Seattle getting run on the last couple weeks. Atlanta really completely falling apart. Matt Ryan throwing interceptions. Uh, who do you like? Without the two tackles for Seattle, if Atlanta had a great pass rush, I would say, all right, maybe you got a chance going up there. But I think Seattle got a pretty good wake-up call last week from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm taking Seattle. They've had a couple wake-up calls. I like to say to all the fans out there, you know, what's wrong with Seattle? They're winning. Well, that, there's nothing wrong. That's what you have to do in this league, win tough games. I'm taking the Seahawks. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but Houston at Arizona, I couldn't have been any more impressed with Case Keenum. Their defense is still ranked uh, among the best in the National Football League as far as yards per game. And yet they go to Arizona, a team that has been struggling on the offensive side throughout. But defensively, somehow or another, I think Arizona is going to get this one done. Case Keenum, there's some tape on him now. They know he likes to throw the ball deep. And I think that Arizona with their secondary is going to be able to hold up. I'm taking Arizona. The thing that worries me about the Houston Texans sometimes, it seems like the playbook, it's pretty hot. And then what do they go? They don't have anywhere to go once they've run through their group of plays. It, it happened again with the Indianapolis Colts with you last week. I like this, uh, the Arizona Cardinals at home. That defense is tough. Buffalo at Pittsburgh. Now, you talk. This Would you funny. think before the year started <laughs> that you'd have a hard time deciding who you like in this game? I, uh, no. And, you know, but – I, I think when the Pittsburgh Steelers go through and they end up with their head coach, Coach Tomlin, talking about people hustling and people getting benched, and I, I'm not sure who's going to be playing in this game when it comes down to it, but I think we'll see the Pittsburgh Steelers' attitude, at least on the defensive side, in a way we haven't seen all season should be enough. I'm taking the Steelers. I'm taking the Steelers. This Buffalo Bills team, they're fast on both sides of the football. But you know one thing we can definitely know about the Pittsburgh Steelers this week? You know what that is? Hmm. They're going to hustle. They're going to hustle. All right. Miami at Tampa Bay. Now, we've been talking about this on the show already here today. But this is one of those bizarre games. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Barton, Richie Incognito, mm -hmm. not available. And if Tampa Bay can do anything, they can bring pressure on the quarterback. Now you're taking an offensive line that already has Was that one rich? of the worst in the NFL. Let's just say that as far as pass protection. Taking two of the starters off there. I'm taking Tampa to win their first game. Man. You like the case I made, didn't you? You that, made it. You, you did. Take, you did. take those wow. Dolphins. Wow. No I, I took the Miami Dolphins. I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins because of their pass rush. They're going to be mad as heck as, it, as everything, even though they're traveling. Maybe it's a good thing they're traveling because there could be a good crowd down there in Tampa. I'm taking them, but, boy, that's a tough one to do. <laughs> I feel bad. Washington at Minnesota, another tough game. 
Robert Griffin III, the last couple weeks uh, against Denver and against the San Diego Chargers, Chris, a lot of hits he's taken. Who do you like? I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings. I just got finished watching the tape uh, against the Dallas Cowboys. Yep. This defensive line can bring it, and you've got a banged up still RG3. I just think this is that moment. Christian Ponder's been playing fine the last couple of weeks. I mean, he has not been the issue. Adrian Peterson, a big day. I think the Vikings are ready to win a game. Minnesota's not very good against the run either when they talk about it, but you're right. One thing that pass rushers do, they never really take weeks off because there's nothing like getting a sack and hitting the quarterback. I'm taking the Minnesota Vikings How about also. that? Yep. Wow, I thought I was flying solo on that one. St. Louis with their pass rush going against Indianapolis, who Andrew Locke just keeps on finding ways to win. I mean, that comeback he had the other night was unbelievable. And let's give a little love to T.Y. Hilton. Yep. Reggie Wayne's gone. The first half, they looked a little lost with their passing game. T.Y. stepped up and took over that ball game. A lot of people in the NFL going, man, why didn't we draft T.Y. Hilton? He's the real deal. And the other thing about Andrew Luck, he is physically the strongest quarterback in the NFL. And the second guy is really far down the line. I like Indianapolis, of course. There we go. All right, there you go. There you have it. There's the Indianapolis. That's picks. it. There's got to be one more. Did I miss any more? Where are they? Where are they? Come on. Here, I'll oh, do mine. Raiders, Raiders and Jaguars. Oh, well, dang. Okay, Oakland. Hey, we're good. Hey, this is my first See, time. See, I gave you a chance segment. to host the show, and you came up one short. This is what's good. You know, the mess-ups on TV. I do it a lot. Oakland at the New York Giants. Who do you like? Oakland, what a disappointment last week. I, you know, Philadelphia come in there and just smoke them like that. I, that one totally caught me off guard. I thought the Raiders were playing well. They'd stand up and win that game. I'm going to take the Giants at home. I, I think after a little time, I, I think the Giants are ready. Terrell Pryor a little beat up, so when he's hurt, his greatest asset, of course, is running the football. If he can't do that, look out. The Giants, they smell the – how about that? You know, I can't get over that. They smell the playoffs at 2-6. and six. They win this game. They are right in the middle – of that NFC, <laughs> NFC East race. Isn't that amazing? Jacksonville is not in the middle of any race. They're 0-8. They go to Tennessee to take on the 4-4 four and four Tennessee. I like the Tennessee Titans. You know what happens when you play the Jacksonville Jaguars now? Mm. You give it your best. Why? Because you're scared. You don't want to be the first team to lose to them. So Tennessee will be on top of the game. They will win. Chris Johnson looked great last week. First time over 100 yards this year. I'm taking Tennessee. And i got to say today you look. Well, you look pretty average as usual. That's the way that's it is. I hey, that's too. all the picks right there. Tune in next week. Try to beat the pros. I'm still winning. Thank you. Or beat us, either one. Where I think.